What's up, fellow classers? It's Apollyon here and doing, well, not really two recaps. I'm um, going to go ahead and cover two wars. Unfortunately, uh, this is one of the wars that was, this was the war that was wiped out by Supercell with their update. So, um, and I'm kind of glad I didn't get a chance to show it. It was just a really bad showing of ours. We technically tied it as far as 96-96 and um, the average destruction was in our favor, so we won. And it was a clan in Miramar, uh, but uh, yeah, it was just, let's just take a look at, I mean, good job to uh, these guys as far as, you know, using all their attacks almost, you know, they just struggled on a couple of our bases. And um, same thing with us, we, we opted in a couple people that were out that we just needed to make that, that number. And... Um, yeah, it put us a little behind, and, and we cleared the, the top two, but we had we had a problem with number five, one star, and a couple of two stars, number, a problem with number 12. So, you know, some of these Town Hall 8s that were opted in that weren't available would have been able to at least two-star these lower bases. Um, so it was just a very, very bad showing, off-timing, just, really, just a really, really bad thing. So anyway... We did get the victory, so we'll take the win, but uh, I'm not sure it was very well deserved. So let's go ahead and check out the latest war that has just finished. So here we go with the latest war, and this one was a little bit more resolute victory, although it was not a perfect war again. We uh, had 30 v 30, and we left uh, five stars on the table against Dino Doms uh, or Dino Dom's crew from Philippines, uh, level nine clan, and I don't, yeah, I don't think they, I don't think they put up much of a challenge as far as using all their attacks and all that kind of stuff. We use most of our attacks. Uh, they, uh, they two starred most of our bases, but I'm not sure. I wasn't in this war, so I don't remember what they used. They left uh, one, two, um, two town hall eights without the being three starred so obviously not too good and I, I just get so confused on how we can three star their top four bases and then leave other lower lower bases down below when they're not really anything special it's not like it was a great base design or anything but let's go ahead and cover this is the first war that we were in after the update so we're going to show a lot of valkyrie attacks uh it's just a very I don't want to say OP or overpowering attack. It is a very powerful one, though. It's, it's I think, shifted a little towards the unbalanced and, and, and the attacker's favor. Not to where they could just drop Valkyries and it's a three-star, but it, it's it's pretty pretty powerful. So Rampo gets a six-star war. Let's go ahead and check out his uh, first attack using a Govajo with a Quad Quake. And you're going to see um, what, you know, you have to heal these Valkyries, and it's a good idea to rage them up because they're so fast. They're a lot more vulnerable and a little bit more squishy. But, uh, you know, if you, you, you should, if you're going to use Valkyries, especially to clear up the bulk of your core or that, bring a, a heal for them. I, I would recommend bringing in a heal and a rage, but at least bring a heal for them. They'll just go through it a little slower. Or doing the shattered entry here with the two golems, one from the clan castle with the wizards doing the funneling clearing. And uh, we've got some wall breakers that need to get in here, being very gutsy with bringing just the right amount of wall breakers, which is cool. And uh, drops the Valkyries right behind. So they're all getting in. If you notice that core is wide open, they are going to go ahead and beeline straight for these, both of these royals, the king and the queen. Needs to heal up for that clan castle, does not have a poison for them due to the quad quake. So that queen is already done, was like taken out in one swipe, and that king is already down right now too. So they just, they just completely took out the, both the royals in less than five seconds. So they're really, really fast. They are, um, you were losing, uh, we're losing quite a bit of them to the defenses, but that's fine. The core has been pretty much cleaned out, and uh, we, we've dropped the last heal there for these hogs, and they're going to be able to push through the rest of the base. We still have a full golem and two golemites that are walking around, and we'll start to tank for these defenses that the hogs are, are pushing through. I think, did we do the giant bombs? I see double, there we go. So they're going to be nice and uh, trip that uh, giant bomb, and then trip the uh, other one while the hogs have jumped over to that archer tower. That golem will tank for the um, 
cannon while the queen takes it out, and now we're just in uh, cleanup mode. Queen didn't even use the ability until now, just to make things go a little quicker. We do have a lot of the base uh, to clean up still, and only a couple hogs left, a queen and a wizard. So it is going to take a little bit of time. There is a pesky builder hut in that corner, and uh, in that corner, and in this corner. So although I don't I don't really recommend the Builder Huts. I think it's going to play a lot more into part now that the, the timer is at three minutes. You're going to see a lot more of those 98, 99, um, 96 percenters of people that aren't paying attention to the Builder Huts and, you know, they, they just run out of time. But uh, just keep that, keep that in mind when you guys are, are raiding. I know... When I did my first farming raid, I, all of a sudden I looked at the clock and there was like 10 seconds left and I was freaking out because I forgot that they, we were reduced to by 30 seconds and, and I had to scramble to, to, to get the, the, the star. But uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind whenever you guys are doing your attacks. Let's go into number two and watch uh, Big Einstein take this out with the Govaho as well. Shattered entry with another quad quake just to show, you know, again, what these Valkyries can do. Um, he uses a quad quake and a jump to get into this core. Is uh, I think he's going to come in from the eight o'clock area, if, if I'm not mistaken. But this um, quad quake is going to open up the core and get him access to both worlds. So looks like I was wrong it's from the northeast, and the wizards are there for funneling. I don't. Yeah, he didn't bring any wall breakers because he's going to jump into this compartment. So all the funneling's been done. He can go ahead and send the king, queen, and the Valkyries in there to go ahead and start taking out all of these things. If that queen was just held back a little bit, that lava hound would uh, be doing no damage to these Valkyries. But they are going at work, and uh, they've got their heel in there for the for the core. They've taken out both royals, and they're they both are down. Trip some giant bombs there. And uh, we're sending the hogs in. So I don't, did we trip the other set? I don't think we tripped the other set in yet. But uh, the Lava Hound has burst. It's going to be a little pesky on all these different things. Uses that last heal to heal up the core with Valkyries, Wizards, and a little bit of the Hounds, uh, the Hog Riders getting in there. But uh, Kill Squad's doing a good job tanking. I mean, the, the King is there. The, the golems are working their way around. They do trip that double giant bomb, unfortunately, with the hogs standing right next to them. If it was done just a little earlier, we would even have more hogs, but uh, this base has been completely crushed. There's tons of hogs to clean up with, so we don't have that much more time that we have to worry about. The queen uh, is full health and helping with that cleanup, so everything's going very well. And that's the end of that. Three stars. Let's go ahead down to, I uh, will just show one more uh, of the go, I think go Vaho. So we'll go ahead and, and check Rampo getting his six star. And uh, it's going to be basically the same attack. I mean, if it's not broke, don't fix it. You've got uh, jump and uh, three heals. So I, I think he quad quaked on the first attack. So this one, we're going to use a jump in there. It uses shattered entry. You've got them in there with the, those, that uh, troll Tesla on the outside, which is no big deal. That golem will tank while those wizards take it out in a couple shots. Test wall breaker goes in. Fantastic. And now you can send the other two wall breakers and they will break open this area. Golems will reroute. King is dropped. Queen is dropped. And we're going to get ready to drop that... Uh, uh, jump spell to get them into the core. The Valkyries have been put down. They will start doing defense, get aggro on the king, run over to that king, and take him out super quick. And then uh, they'll start making their way into that defense. Look at them heal the core. Uh, you need to do that. Trip a giant bomb, but that's going to do absolutely nothing to them because they're going to get healed right back up to full again. That queen, enemy queen, is down. Unfortunately, the friendly queen is locked on to that uh, lava hound. But uh, the, the Hog Riders are making their way around the base with two heals to go. I think all the Valkyries are completely down. So it just, shows to, it just goes to show that they are a little bit more malleable, a little bit more... Um, I, keep, I don't want to keep saying squishy. A little bit, a little bit less hit points and uh, a little less rugged. But they, they do a lot of damage and clear the base a lot faster, which helps with that... Uh, you know, three minute uh, time for the war. So we've got a nice poison down there to try to take care of some of these pups. No more heals, but these hogs are gonna take out that last air defense. Queen uses her ability and finally takes out that last pup. And we are in cleanup mode. 
tons of hogs, a lot more than that last raid. Queen's going to help do the cleanup. And there is a Valkyrie on the bottom. I didn't even notice. She is doing her thing, uh, swinging her axe and uh, taking out those pesky uh, corner builder huts. Nice attack. All right, just two more, and then we'll finish this up. Number eight, we're going to go ahead and show. Let's just show the bases that were not three-starred. This one was uh, not a very good showing, 69%. Um, not a very tough base, just like the bases that were hit before. It's not, not anything special. Uh, they should have three-starred that without a problem. Very low royals, 12, 10, so not too difficult. And then 98%, so can't fault Brando on that. Just about done. Just I uh, don't think he had a cleanup on it. But an uh, anti-3, but not an incredibly tough base. It is uh, max Town Hall 9 as far as defense, but not walls. Not the uh, the best design, but not, not bad. I can understand why we had a problem with this base. It's uh, not the same design like an internet forum base or anything. So let's go down to number 8. Check that uh, replay by Gatsby. He's just going to go back old school with a stone go-ho. So three golems, one of the clan castle, two of his own, and 24 hogs. And we're just going to do damage to this. Same setup as Rampo's the last attack that we watched. One jump, three heals, and uh, he does not have to heal up the the core this time because there are no more, no Valkyries going in here. So king and queen are both dropped. They need to take out this enemy queen and make their way in so the queen can go ahead and get this clan castle of dragons and loons. I'm finding that now with the new change that the, the clan castle runs away from poison, dragons and loons are definitely more formidable and uh, a much better use than they used to be. They go down here, but uh, they can make a, a break a raid depending on what you bring, and especially if you quad quake and you don't have a poison, makes it a lot more difficult. So Queen's doing her damage uh, in the core there, and the hogs are two finger dropped into one area, and uh, the you know they trip the the giant bomb there. We still have three heals, trip uh, the the double giant bomb set, but one at a time, so that's not a problem. Being very patient with these heals loses some to spring traps, but going clockwise around the base, and he has deployed all the hogs, loses a bunch of hogs there to the uh, another spring trap. Loses a bunch more to that spring trap and then drops a minion down. Start that uh, very optimistic. Will that hog get that? Uh, no, but the other one comes in for support. And then we've used uh, our third heal, our second heal so far, and still one more. Look at more spring traps. Wow, tons of spring traps on this one. Oh, very nicely placed spring traps. But we've got cleanup. That minion's doing cleanup and on the top and the bottom. And uh, it's really up to the hogs and the queen and the, these wizards and minions to finish it up. But uh, he will swag this heal, or he could swag the heal. Don't know if he does. Nope, just saves it for next time. Why waste not, want not. And then finally, a last attack. Going into number 10, just showing a lower town hall uh, 9, 8.5. Using the same type of strategy, uh, but this time it's going to be shattered. Two golems in on this base. Uh, shattered goho and look at the base though the base is a max town hall nine except for the walls and the expos but they are expo level two so it's not too bad so we could show you know somebody with lower heroes 12 and 10 uh and still crushing a base so you just take all these compositions you know take the sa it's the same thing no matter what levels you have it's the same style same attack and uh, uses the poison here. Those uh, dragons and loons stay in that poison for the time being, which is a good thing. And then we drop the jump there to push everything through to the core to get that queen. They start, the clan castle starts to go away, but the queen is too fast and snipes them and takes them out. This enemy king doesn't know what he's getting into. He's just confused and he's walking back and forth while the friendly queen snipes him and picks him off completely. So you're going to try to be a bully, try to get those hogs, but it is not going to work out for you. So we're doing a uh, counterclockwise uh, surgical hog. He's got one more heal after he's used two of them already. And they're standing in heals as they hit. They trip a double giant bomb set one at a time. Unfortunately, he was just a little off on that heal. It would have caught both of them and healed them up to full. But he had to use that because the bulk of his hogs had been hit by that second um, bomb. So we are all done here completely filled tons of hogs crushes the base it is toast 
and we're on cleanup mode, so very nice attacks by everybody. Uh, the only thing I'll just do is jump out and see the other Town Hall 9. I think Swag's the poison there. And uh, we'll just check out that base that was not three-starred and check, see what it was. Uh, yeah, again, not anything very, very special, not a, a game changer, anything type of base. We, we definitely should crush that as well. So um, let's just see. Yep, And we'll get into the Town Hall 9s uh, and see. You know what? You guys, I think you guys have asked before, and I haven't even watched this. Uh, what you know? What does it look like when you fail? What, what you keep? Sh I keep showing three star attacks or three starred uh, bases. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with this one. I haven't watched it, so I can't really critique, critique it. But um, so he triggers the the lure. I guess he wanted to see if it was dragons or not to lure down. But he's going to go ahead and take care of this lava hound. Not a bad idea. I mean, you might as well get that queen taking it out up front before they get really too far into the core with all the defenses and everything else. Drops the uh, wall breaker, a couple fails to that Tesla, which is a problem right there. And uh, I think a couple more fails. I think that's what made the biggest problem with this was. Should have dropped the jump in there already. The hound is done and the pups are in poison. But the kill squad is really stuck here. Needs to drop that, that uh, jump to get them in. They're just going to, that king is, uh, the enemy king is down. The, the friendly king is dropped in there. But they're going to have to pound on these walls. I mean, that's, uh, it just be it was sitting ducks getting targeted by these defenses finally drops that uh, jump in there there's really nothing left of the kill squad the the Valkyries now come in and they would have torn through those walls if he would have dropped them in a little earlier so I think that's what the, the problem is is rages them up they take out the Queen super fast running around the base um, and now they'll go ahead and hit these walls. look how quickly they take out this wall Unfortunately, they're not in, raid any, in rage anymore, and there are less of the Valkyries than there were to start with. But the, just a couple, two or three Valkyries left. Break through that wall, and uh, they'll start uh, pounding through. They'll walk around the other side and uh, tank for these hogs, at least the, 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 for a little bit on that expo. But he's just going to run out of steam here. I mean, that queen even gets in there to snipe this expo. Uh, he's got no more heals. He's got a poison. One Valkyrie after that one. He loses to a spring trap. Loses hogs to spring trap. And there's nothing to push forward here. That's that's the end of this. And that queen has already used her ability. So we'll just go ahead and fast forward as there's no way that queen is going to be able to take out four point defenses and a splash de defense with no ability and no healer. So it's just a, a thing to come. So it's not picking on Mini Matino. It's just uh, just wanted to show what it looks like when we fail a base. Uh, and I guess we didn't have enough to go in and clean it up. So anyway, hopefully you guys got a chance to take a look at the new Valks. I like them. I think they're really good. Uh, I've used them. They're pretty pretty powerful. Just takes a little, use, a little bit to get used to. Make sure you keep in mind that three-minute uh, clock now for, for the war because that will definitely catch you. And uh, practice, you know, practice using them before you, you use them for the first time in war. Get, get used to their, how quick they are, how, how much hit points they have, and then practice them, get the, the six-star wars, and get, get in those three-star attacks.